Chat, I just got vindicated. I feel so good. When I talked about Disco Elysium, which is a good RPG, don't get me wrong, but I said, look, I feel like this game was made by communists. And people were like, V, you're pushing a conspiracy theory. Naruhodo, it's due to the nature of your work that you see communism everywhere. This is not a game about communism. In Disco Elysium, you can play as a racist fascist cop, if you so choose, or you can play as a communist cop or a liberal one. The game makes fun of all political ideologies, V. And now I found this article where the developer of the game has said that he attaches great importance to communism in an article that's hidden by a paywall. 21st century is defined by communists. So why did I say that this game has a Marxist bent? While it is true that it does make fun of many political ideologies, there is this uh, communist NPC, which uh, is a union boss, and he's part of the base story. Now, when I was playing the game, I was running circles around this guy. I kind of got his motives. I kind of figured out what he wanted to do. So I was trying my best in order for him not to achieve his goal. But in order to win the game and get the good ending, as the police officer with amnesia, you need to get your gun back. And the only way to get your gun back is to do what this union boss tells you to do. So in another word, you're kind of forced to do good things for this communist. And part of the plot line is that he wants to rebuild the city. He, he wants to take a part of the city that's a slum and invest money in it and build a cultural center there and have a school and all of that stuff, you know, to, to show to the player just how good communism can be, I guess. You're forced to see that aspect of the storyline if you want to help that guy. And that's one of the reasons that I thought, okay, well, this game does have Marxist bends. Um, another reason is that when I was playing, uh, the investigation leads you to assume that the culprit is a lesbian black woman, if I remember correctly, or just a lesbian woman. But still, it's part of the identity group, the protected identity group. And I was like, there is no way that a progressive game will have the villain as part of an identity group, it's a red herring. And it was a major disappointment as I played the game and I got towards the end to realize that there was no way of predicting the mystery. And I think this is uh, one of the worst things you can do in a uh, story about the police investigation where you want the player to be involved in the story and figure out who did it because it's a murder mystery that's what the whole game is about and you can't figure out the murder like there is, there is no way like all the indications lead you to one direction and, and then they pull out of the hat you know oh well this person didn't actually do it and it turns out it's something else that wasn't even a suspect for the 95 percent of the game so um I was right. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad game. It is a game with its flaws. I didn't like the fact that when you have a dialogue, uh, based on your skills, you can pass or fail that particular dialogue. So let's say you have a dialogue that requires intimidation. Well, in order to raise your intimidation attribute, you can dress to intimidate. So if you put like your police badge and you put your uh, nightstick and uh, all of that, then it makes you more intimidating. But the problem is, like, you talk with the person, you realize you have to intimidate them, right? So you dress up to intimidate. And then the next dialogue is um, you, you need to persuade them. So you need to look cool. So now you're putting on your sunglasses. So, like, you're, you're constantly just switching clothes during the middle of the dialogues to, to make sure that you raise your stats in order to get the correct answer that you want. So that was a problem. But I don't know that. No, it's a good game, but it's made by communists. I mean, I was right. Okay, like, how did I know? How did I know these things? Oh, V, it doesn't make sense. So, like, don't, like, look, you don't have to understand my logic. You just need to know that I'm right. And in this situation, I was right. Let me know what you think. And uh, anyone that accused me that I was wrong, I request an apology. Public. Public apology. <laughs>